Quincy, Massachusetts police officer Ryan Donnelly has a new weapon in his cruiser. So it goes right there. Narcan. The Narcan is administered. And As shown in this training video, Narcan reverses an overdose by blocking an opioid's ability to attach to brain cells. Normal breathing can resume within minutes. Well, we gave it the Narcan and it was just... Donnelly has used the nasal spray form of Narcan to reverse overdoses eight times. Quincy is the nation's first police department to require every officer on patrol to carry the drug. The cop aspect, you're like, oh, this person's engaging in an illegal activity, but the human aspect, you're like, this is a life. In the past two and a half years, Quincy police have used Narcan 179 times and reversed 170 overdoses. There's somebody's daughter or son a father, a brother, a mother, that's what clicks in your head. When Nancy Holler's son Brendan overdosed last October, an officer used Narcan to revive him. People think that this is the homeless junkie that lives on the street, but these are our children. We have a very serious epidemic in this country that started with prescription drugs. Brendan's addiction began when he started sneaking painkillers prescribed for his father's back injury. That was his gateway to heroin. It's constant worry. It's when the phone rings, oh my gosh, did something happen? So they always have two doses in every cruiser or whatever. Veteran narcotics detective Patrick Glenn so oversees Quincy's Narcan program and dismisses critics who say it encourages addicts to keep using. It's just a simple change where we decided that we cannot arrest our way out of this epidemic. Glenn says Narcan gives addicts another chance to seek treatment and to stop stealing to pay for their habit. If we can stop them from being sick and take care of their disease, they won't commit the crime and they won't be a criminal. The White House Office of National Drug Control Policy supports wider distribution of Narcan, which costs only $22 a dose. In Quincy, private citizens can be trained to use it. Nancy Holler carries it everywhere, just in case. I keep one in my cabinet, one in my minivan, and one in my pocketbook. Always within reach? Always. This is my child. I'm going to do everything I can to save his life. Don Daler, CBS News, Quincy, Massachusetts.